Good morning, observers. Today we're hitting three interesting science articles. A famous cave collapses, the impact of electromagnetic fields on the human body, and the forcing of space weather on ozone destruction. Of course, we'll also have storms and a bit of space weather, so we're starting here with the last 24 hours on our star, one significant eruptive event, followed by the continued rotation of the sphere. Corona hole beginning to turn out of view there to the right, the lone eruptive event yesterday, which you likely caught with your eyes, was the snap release of a large plasma filament next to the coronal hole. There are more filaments under eruption watch right now, but as for the one that erupted, faint halo signatures on SOHO are visualized in the animal spiral model. Shows an impact is likely to occur tomorrow night, late on February 1st, but it will be arriving on the heels of the coronal hole stream. That's expected tonight or early tomorrow. We'll be watching geomagnetic conditions this weekend for sure. Could get some good aurora. And looking further ahead, we have one complex of active regions. It's actually three sunspot groups crammed into that one area. And there is only the most minor magnetic mixing at the moment. It's why we haven't taken bigger flares from the group. We're watching that development as well. A quick weather note. The cyclone in the South Indian Ocean is now moving more west than southwest, meaning that its track now targets not only the tiny islands east of Madagascar, but Madagascar itself, second major storm impact of the last couple weeks there. Interesting note up next, the famous ice cave in southern Argentina. Stories and conspiracies and rumors abound. Well, it has collapsed. Wonder what was actually in there and how it was made. Up next, good article on EMF and biology. This one is focusing on the impact of technological EMF, but it has broader application, and the health effects it identifies are the same ones identified for cosmic ray exposure and exposure to geomagnetic storm resonance frequencies. Last but not least, excellent study confirming for about the thousandth time it is the particle forcing that destroys ozone. While light photoelectrically creates it, the particles break it down. And since those particles are what surges during a magnetic pole shift and that has already begun to occur, it is the ozone that we expect to begin taking the hardest hits first. Tomorrow, the monthly special issue goes out for the Observer Review e-magazine members. It is part three in our pole shift video series. Every month, there is the magazine issue and then something special like the video coming tomorrow. Sign up at the link below. And folks, today is the last day to get a Suspicious Observer shirt. From here, it's all Space Weather News and Observer Ranch. One last chance to get the old school style for the SOOGs. Find at the link below and at the ObserverRanch.com store. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.